Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is Pilot Irishizuku Sui Gaioku, which I'm probably saying incorrectly. Somebody please correct me down in the comments. Uh, this is one of the three new inks that Pilot is introducing this year in 2022. Some old inks are going goodbye bye and these are coming in to replace them a bit. Uh, they are kind of hard to find, but you can find these little three ink sets if you look around. I think the place I got them is out, so I, I'm not going to give you a link because it wouldn't do you any good. But this one is the, uh, the tealy color of the three. And uh, I've got it in a pen, so let's take a look at it. Here it is on Rhodia, 80 grams per square meter paper. And as you can see, it is a nice sort of uh, bluish green. I've had it in this pen for the last couple of days anyway. And uh, this is a, a modern Parker Dual Fold Centennial, which is the larger of these uh, of these pens. And uh, I really like this nib. And I'm like, let's see what this is like in here. I haven't used it in a while. This has got a fine nib on it, 18 karat. Just, just gorgeous. All right. Enough fawning over this cool pen. Here's what this cool ink looks like. And as you see, very uh, bluish green. I think it's primarily green, and it's got like this blue tinge through it, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm not really sure exactly what this uh, translates to. All of the websites I visited seem to, uh, all the pen sites I visited seem to agree that it is emeraldy, which is true. It's an emeraldy sort of green. But then I put it in Google Translate just for funsies, and it comes up as water ball. So maybe it's a water ball. Oh, it's kind of a water a rectangular prism, but like whatever, it's very cool. So this is a good looking ink. It's got minor shading. Uh, it's a little bit expensive if you get it in the large, uh, large uh, Ir Suzuku bottles, but uh, 2240 is not bad for 50 mils of ink. And also that bottle is gorgeous. So, you know, check that out. Let's do our water test. Then we'll look at some comparisons and we'll look at, uh, you know, other papers and all that jazz that we do. Chromatography, you know the jam. All right, let's give this a little bit of a swish. Let's blot it up. I do see a lot of movement here. Yeah, a fair amount coming up, but it actually leaves behind almost entirely this blue, which is, that's pretty cool. I wasn't really expecting that at all. That's neat. So yeah, I think this is a little bit water resistant. It's not water resistant as a green, but it is water resistant as a blue, which is pretty cool. I, I, I You see more water resistant blues than you do greens. I'm not sure why it is. It's got to be a dye thing. So let's look at the chromatography here right next to this. And as you can see, the blue is what stuck around. So I should have expected that, but you never really know what to expect. Uh, and I think it came out pretty well. You get a lot of green and such up here, but the blue is that, uh, that stuff is left behind. So yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. All right, let's look at it on some different papers. Uh, I did forget and did this out of order, but here it is on the Staples 30% recycled 20 pound copy paper, the bad paper from your office. And you can see there is a little bit of feathering there and maybe a little bit of spread. And you can see that the fine nib of this pen came out looking about the same as the broad nib on a Platinum 3776, which is because I think this is a this ink right here is on the wet side and it's... Um, you know, it's it's kind of getting into the paper a little bit. And you can see here uh, that uh, it did bleed through a bit. It's not terrible. Uh, it's actually it's doing better than that retro sunset, but that was also uh, an even a wetter nib than this and larger. So I'd say, you know, not great for your office copy paper, but you know, we, we can keep it on the good stuff probably. Here is some wheat straw paper. This is an Inky Fingers currently inked. And there it is, Irishizuku. Sui Gayuku, and I think it looks really good on this paper. You get some of that blue character up here in the tips. Like it looks like it kind of shades to blue, which is an interesting effect. I hadn't really noticed that before until just now, honestly, and I, I like that a lot. That looks, that's looking good. Then, here in my everyday book from Galen Leather, which is a Tomoe River uh, paper, I actually did two little samples of it. This one, the way I filled it was I filled the converter of this and I put it in the pen and then, uh, you know, primed it a little bit and it just kind of, it didn't want to flow to begin with. I think it just hadn't saturated the feed. And so I just went, no, nah, we're going to start this over. So here it is on Tomoe River where it looks real nice, I think. But actually, I don't know. I might kind of like it better on the wheat straw a little bit more. It seems like um, you still get some of that blue. You still get some like darker areas here which is cool, but uh, I think I might like it better on the wheat straw than I do here on Tomoe River, interestingly enough. All right, so 
Let's look at some similar inks. I have several here for us because this is an emeraldy color, and emerald is a color that I also really enjoy, and so I have a whole lot of emeraldy inks. This is Franklin Christoph's Emerald 357, which is a really beautiful blue-green emeraldy color. Uh, it's a little bit, it's actually quite a lot darker than this one, I think, here uh, in the swatch. But I think when you're writing with it, they're fairly similar, although this one's not as wet. Then we've got uh, Kala... Ooh, uh, Queen She Flip Cliff, maybe? I'm, I know I'm getting that one wrong, but uh, this one is a bit on the lighter side than this one, although definitely in the same family. Then we have Pride Reserve's Infinity Green, which is listed as a green, but it's got a substantial blue component, I think, a lot of the time, and so you get more green out of it uh, than, you would, than you would expect. So here in the writing sample, it's a lot more similar, I think. Then uh, Monteverde's California Teal, which is uh, one of the favorite inks, I think, out of this Monteverde set. Has more sheen and such than you're going to get from the Pilot, but in the same color family for sure. Uh, Newler's Pushkin, which is just not a good ink. <laughs> this one, I mean, you can see it's, it was bleeding through the back of a color. And this is, that's rough, right? Um, some of these, these series just smell like paint, and I, I, don't, I don't recommend them. But similar kind of color space, so this one's darker. And then lastly, Papier Plume Forest Green, which is interesting. It's interesting to me that Forest Green is a teal. When I think of Forest Greens, I usually think of a much darker green, something more piney or something of that nature. But this one's a little bit more tealy and more a little more emerald. So yeah, there you have it. All right, so that's Pilot Irishizuku uh, Water Ball <laughs> Sui Gayoku. This is pretty fun. So find yourself a bottle of this if you're into it. I think it's a good ink, and it's part of their like regular line. So I don't think it's going anywhere. But I do, I do like riding with this one. I didn't think I was gonna like it that much, but. But I do. All right, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you liked it. Peace out.